Hey, hello, I'm Ragnar Heil, I'm a channel account manager at Quest Software here in Germany, Central Europe. And maybe your organization is currently in the phase of acquiring another company, or you want to sell a subsidiary and do a carve out, or you just have too many of 65 tenants and you want to go into a single tenant strategy. And then you might considering doing different phases. Phase zero would be the planning phase, assessment phase, and so on. And plan and day one, you would do the real migration day two it's the day of ongoing business and in this video we're going to go deeper into day one where i'm going to show you in detail how you can migrate shepherd online from one tenant to another tenant using modern fancy and very cool communication sites so stay tuned Here you can see the migration dashboard. It's called Quest On Demand. It's fully running on Azure. So you just need a browser and it's a software as a service. And the first thing what you need to do is here to go and select the site collections after you've done the discovery run. And I'm going to pick immediately our crisis communication um, site. And then I would like to also migrate this cool project, which is here. And last but not least, our default Quest communication site and I just click here on migrate and then yes I want to include the site structure and content of course next and then I want to migrate the uh, most recent version so I could also migrate all versions but currently the most recent are completely fine for me and I want to run the migration right now but it could also make sense that you would run the migration later due to COVID-19 Microsoft is currently throttling heavily here And sometimes it can make sense to do the migration in the evening. But currently it's seven o'clock here in Central Europe, so I can start the migration right now. Here I can go deeper into the task and see which tasks are running. So that's a progress bar here. If I'm very interested into the log file level, I just go here and click on events, and then I can see what's currently going on in my, migra in my migration progress. Okay, now the migration is finished. As you can see here, everything is green. And let's compare now the source and the target tenant sites. And let's start here with the communication site. Currently you're seeing that's the 59 um, one site and compared to the other one, which is called 60, they look the same. So you've got, you've got the events here, you've got the documents and the uh, visual elements. Number two is the school homepage. That's currently here, the 59 server. And with the notes and visuals and pin news and events and the school news on our target tenant looks like this here. And last but not least, the special um, template called crisis management relevant for COVID-19 is here. That's on the 59 server. And on the other one, it looks like this on the 60. So hope you like this demo and please feel free to ask any kind of questions here in the comments. Thanks so much.